All right, so odds are if you're watching this, you're in a little bit of a hurry. So let's not waste any time. This is the quickest, easiest, and most teachable way of how to tie a tie. All right, first things first. This is gonna be called the four in one knot. Uh, you put it over your neck like this, make sure your collar is popped. Make sure this long, thick side is at least 12 inches longer than the small side. If you're not sure what 12 inches looks like, just make, just make the small side as small as you humanly can. It always looks really weird to see someone else tie a tie. So here's what it's gonna look like when you try to do it. Now remember, the first thing you're gonna do is you need to make sure that the short side is really, really short and the long side is really, really long. Uh, next thing you wanna do is you want to have the X. The X is gonna be right here. Remember, it's the long, thick side over the short, skinny side. Um, you move the long, thick side over, just like that, over your little X crosshairs. This is the hole we're gonna be pulling everything through, so keep that in mind as you take the thick side, move it right up next to your neck, pull it up. All right, there you go, almost there. We just need to put it through here. Here's the thick side. You pull it all the way through it. There it comes. Oh, did you do it? Did you do it? I think you did. Oh, you did. Look at this. This is a perfect, a perfect four in one knot. You tighten it up by pulling on this small business closer and closer to your neck until, oh, perfect. That fits on your collar so well. Oh, and the tie is just your color. Oh, you're gonna do great at that job interview, aren't you? Yes, you are. Wonderful. So that's your basic four in one necktie knot. It'll get you through the day. It's quick and dirty and gets the job done. But some of us are better than that. Sometimes we need a more fancy knot. Now, there are practically thousands and literally four different necktie knots. There's the four in one, the Pratt knot, the half Nelson and the Nelson. And we're gonna be the half Windsor and the Windsor. And we're gonna be dying the Windsor, which is the Rolls Royce of necktie knots. Remember, just like last time, we have a very short side here and a very long side here. Now, the long side is gonna go over the short side like so, so that we have a little bit of an X pattern. You see, there it is. Now, we're gonna bring this up next to your neck like that, remember? Like here, and now we have the X, but also this other loop of the long side veering off. We put it underneath everything like that and we put the inside of the knot, flip it around so that it's facing outwards, slide it on down in your neck, and here we go. Now this is the half Windsor knot, I mean the Windsor knot. You see we have matching sides everywhere, it's beautiful and perfect and lovely. So now we take this side over here and we cover everything up, there it is, all covered up, and we've created the little pocket that we're gonna be shoving the, the whole thing through. So, we take it, and we make sure that the inside is inside and the outside is outside. Pull it through there, cinch it up nice and tight by pulling the shorter side. There you go. Oh, you look so professional. People at work are gonna be so impressed. Maybe they'll even hire you so you won't have to be an intern anymore. Who knows? Only time will tell. There you are. So enjoy your wonderful, perfect neckties now that you're the person who knows how to tie a necktie. four different ways to tie a necktie, and we're gonna be doing the Nelson. The Nelson? No, what's it called again? Uh, the Windsor Knot. Windsor Knot, thank you. Yeah. We're gonna call the Windsor Knot, and this is like the Rolls Royce of necktie knots. Seriously, man, you gotta get it right next time. Okay, you know what, I'm not, it's just,